All right, so if my Dark Souls 2 build wasn't quite working out, let's see how my Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin build works out. So I put, uh, I got myself to uh, 30 Vigor and 30 Dexterity. It says 33 Dex because I'm wearing the ring that gives me bonus Dexterity. And then I put five or more points, probably, I think it was like six or seven points into uh, Endurance to increase my stamina. And that'll be one of my goals is to increase my stamina from this point out for a, a bit more. Is gonna be one of the primary things I try to do. Here's the what I'm doing. I'm back in Black Knight set except for Northern Trousers because Black Knight set is, is, is too heavy overall. Estus Ring, Chloranthi Ring, Carthus Milk Ring, and Blood Ring, which means that I have uh, more effective Estus Flasks. I have better stamina recovery speed. I have bonus dexterity and obscured rolls. The, bo the obscured rolling is pointless unless I'm in PvP, but uh, the dex bonus is not negligible, I guess. And then, uh, this one makes my rolls better, but at the cost of some defense. And, ah, uh, let's go back to the Sunbro Covenant. Because that symbol makes me happier. But yeah, so we're back with my rapier. But now my rolls look like this. So that's silly. <laughs> look at that giant health bar, by the way. That's what happens when I take those points I was putting into attunement to make it so I could cast slightly more heals and stuff like that. And just go full force into 11 Estus Flasks instead, and then let those, uh, the, that, the stuff I was spending on heals go into my health bar it just gets huge. So yeah, this is just gonna be a more optimum build, hopefully. And it's, it's the type of, it's the type of character I'm probably best at in Dark Souls. So I plan on, I plan on playing the rest of the game in this style until, uh, New Game Plus. And then in New Game Plus, I'll experiment with more styles. And the, the good thing about this game is that they, of all the lessons to take from Dark Souls 2, they kept the part where you could respec your character, which is great. Because my favorite thing about Dark Souls 2 is that you could run around the entire game, collect all the different items and spells and boss souls and everything, and then in New Game Plus, you're like, all right, let's see these, let's, let's look at my my toy box and figure out what build I want to make out of this. And that's exactly what you can do in subsequent playthroughs to mix things up over and over again. And so that's, that's what I look forward to doing. So uh, sorry if this pisses anybody off and you're welcome to all the people that are psyched about it, or whatever and whatnot. Uh, enjoy the episodes, and I think I will... I, it'll probably be a tradition where I do some PvP after I finish each zone. Don't know how much it'll be each time, but probably do at least one, just for the sake of it. Hello, NPC. Let's see if I can get up to them without being in danger. Are all those skeletons gonna wake up? Because now that I've seen them there, I wanna, I wanna visit them. Are they all gonna wake up? Oh, that's not necessary, guys. Come on. Who are you? Oh, it's Henri. And Horace was down there, but I murdered their dumb face off. Oh no, here they all come. Really? Is this necessary? What the fuck? What the fuck? They start trying to murder the NPC, and then the NPC freaks out like you're killing- They better not have killed her just now. God damn it. Oh wow, my health bar is that long when it's not even- It's that long when I'm not even in a ember mode. My, my new non-ember mode health bar looks like my ember mode health bar. Is she still alive? She's still alive at least. Could this be a lever? Okay. Wow, they made it a they made it kind of a nightmare to freaking They made yeah, they made it kind of a nightmare to talk to that character. It's no wonder I missed her. You freaking get swarmed by skeletons. Why would they why'd they have to put her here of all places? What a pain in the ass. I hear they dear lord, there's so many of them too. Alright. So do they automatically break the bridge, or do I have to do that myself? I don't want to break the bridge. I just want to draw them all out. <laughs> the lowered frame rate they have at the, in a distance makes them look even more like Jason and the Argonaut, Argonauts monsters. <laughs> they look like ridiculous stop-motion characters more than ever when they're freezing in place like that. Alright, I think I just have to fight my way through them. I'm coming, Henri, just for you. Oh, jeez. Anyone brave enough to approach the door? Wow, they can't. They're actually stuck on an invisible wall, it looks like. Interesting. 
There are so many of you guys. Alright, um... Hi, guys. This is the only reasonable response to the situation, I think. Dear lord. Either I'm missing something critical, or this is, like, you just have to fight them all, right? Because they, they basically surround this NPC. And if you try to walk up to her to talk to her, they'll freaking start murdering her. <laughs> That's messed up. That'd be a real bummer to lose an NPC because random monsters just murdered them. Uh, yeah, good thing I brought fire bombs. That was... that made a big difference. I say that as if I, I, say that as if I don't always have them because I always do. I always, I do always have them. Oh man, there's more. All right. Ow. Stalags. Get out of my way. I'm trying to see the zombie monster that skeleton aliens. Skelalians. There we go. Strong attack knocks them on their ass. Or specifically knocks them off their ass and that it detaches the rest of their body from said ass. Skeletons. Skeletons. Poke. I miss you, Rapier. But of course, the moment I switch to Rapier, I'm confronted with a situation that is the antithesis of good Rapier situations, which is getting swarmed by a bunch of monsters. So uh, yeah, this is the Ultra Greatsword situation, not or uh, I do massive AoE spells situ situation. Alright. Henri. Hi. Uh, killed your friend. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Goodness me. To think there'd be a lake so deep within these catacombs. What a relief. I knew that Horace was alive and wouldn't stray far. Thank you. We are both in your debt. This hardly expresses my gratitude, but it'll have to do for now. Please take it. And may the flames guide your way. Oh, it's the Ring of the Evil Eye. Interesting. That makes me restore health, I think, when I do crits? I will soon head to the lake. Thank you. We are both in your debt. May the flames guide your way. Awkward? I thought we would explain that he, she, that uh, I killed Horus, and that he's gone now. Not that... Not to say, hey, you should go check it out down there and get murdered. Oh, well, I guess I made the entire surface pretty safe by the standards of the areas around here. Also, I think I think I get health from kills with this ring. I probably... The three dexterity ring is probably silly. Uh, yeah, absorb hit points from every defeated foe. That, that probably makes sen more sense than having three decks on a ring. This ring captured the foul spirit of an, e of an evil eye, a creature that ravaged Astora. Absorb hit points from each defeated foe. The horrid spirit nearly destroyed Astora, but was eventually defeated by the sword of the one most noble. Alright, so now I have a ring that heals me whenever I kill things, which is handy, because I plan on killing a lot of things. So here's the big loose end I left here. There's two things over there, I never found my way over there. And I think it's going to be pretty easy. Oh, oh, oh! Hey! Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Get out of my game. There we go. Corpse pillaged. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna have to go down to where the boulder first shows up. And just go through the wall over there. It's just a- it's just really just a hallway I missed, basically. Alright, so here's the staircase that the boulder goes down. So it's probably right over here. So have I- did I miss this entire area originally? Hello, ambush. Nice to meet you. Be wary behind. Yep. Oh! Oh, this is more of them than I thought. Okay. Hut. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh look! I, 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 I spotted the tiny bit of health I restored there. Oh. I saw it again there. Very slightly. I lost more. <laughs> oh. Staircase is an awkward place to fight. Ow. Every time I g There we go. Yeah, watch the health, and... I didn't see it that time. Anyway, I could definitely see it jumping a little bit from time to time. What's the... What the hell's that? That's not what item colors are normally like. Anyway... Every time I attacked one of them, the other one would rear up on me. I'm like, no! 
What is this? Oh, is it a? Oh, it's a prism stone. I was like, I was like, is that an item? What's going on? Nope, go over here. Run that way. There we go. I remember this bug from earlier. I was looking at it like that's gonna be a big problem for me if I don't be careful with it. So the thing about bugs, not bugs, the lizards, crystal lizards, that the trick to them is that they always run directly away from you in a straight line. They're very, the the, the most predictable AI subroutine you could think of, basically. So really. If you don't want them to jump off a cliff, you just have to very carefully run in the right direction to make them not do that. Huh. Prism stones are really pretty in this game. But yeah. So yeah, just don't run... Just don't get behind them if the cliff's in front of them. You wanna... You wanna head them off and they'll run in a straight line away from you. Hey, guys. So, so far this area is cake. By the way. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Bye. Hey, friends. Oop. Oh, I missed you, Rapier. I haven't taken a hit yet, I'm, and I'm this far in. Oh, it just comes so naturally. It's a pokey pokey. Come on, man. You do the pokey pokey, and you poke it all about. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yep, that faith build just gave me a bad day, basically. All right. Or maybe I might have also just been having a bad day on my own, too, to be fair. Alright, well then, let's murder our way through this room once and for all, because I keep not killing it, right? So let's have our sweet revenge. I've got arrows, right? Yeah. So I should be able to take out these guys. Yes. Orbs defeated. Not the right trajectory for that. Oh, he wasn't happy about that. <laughs> hey, buddy. What you doing? You doing a fireball? No one would have ever saw that coming. You're really blowing people's minds right now. Oh! He, is, he was not particularly staggered at that moment. What you doing? You, you planting a turret? Nasty little turret planter? Yeah, that's... And it, it's not entirely... It doesn't have to be the faith build's fault entirely, too. The, so, the spear could have been not great, too, but... Yeah, I'm just sort of breezing through here so far. Oh! Kind of makes you wonder what the point... Like, I, I could specialize in lightning spears, or I could just do almost as much damage with a regular old wood arrow. I have the, I have the worst possible arrow right now, and it's doing not that much less damage. Poke. All right, yeah, we just had, we had a bad day. It's what happens when you experiment, and experimentation's good, but it can it can it can blow up in your face. Hey, buddy. Uh oh, these guys have surprising amounts of poise. What a cool monster design, by the way. They have four arms, so they're just like casually puking out. Like, I'm getting titanite left and right, which is nice too. Uh. There's the lava slimes. Was oh, that a secret back there? I thought I'd check. Ah! <laughs> Wait, they're, they're just casually... Uh, it's cool that they have four arms and that, that, that the other set of arms is creating a fireball while the other ones are doing other things. So there's, there's Quaylag back there. Or something like that. Hello. Bye. Ow. 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 Okay, I can't move. No. No. No, I was having a good day. Damn it. All right, well that took us right back to that pet one of the pet peeves I mentioned before. Getting completely stuck. Well, getting overwhelmed by enemies, I'm totally okay with. Well, if it's done in a smart way cuz level design varies wildly on whether or not having multiple enemies is good or bad in a particular level, but man, if it's not a bummer when you your character just gets pinned in place. Because you can't reasonably dodge the attacks of, like, six characters at once. To be fair, I put myself in that situation by doing the plunging attack. But the level design also encourages you to do the plunging attack, so... Oh, well. Ah, no large titanite this time? I have opted to take the stairs instead. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on, man. There's something inherently really funny about, uh... Rats that punch you. Hey, friend. There's the... Hit I was looking out for. 
Any, any drops? Nope. So, if you haven't figured out yet, I'm here because we have a loose end to fill up. We gotta kill that dude. Oh look, souls. Oh right, I just, those ones I just lost. <laughs> oh, dare I. Does it matter that much? I might as well. Hey buddy. Bye. Yep. At some point, using that spear is just kind of self-sabotage. I, I do genuinely wonder if I would have had that much trouble fighting... Are they chasing me right now? Yeah, they are. I genuinely wonder if I would have had that much trouble fighting against that boss if I was using this build or not. Unfortunately, we can never know. Because, considering I've, I did that many attempts against the boss, I now have learned things about that encounter that I can't unlearn, so... I can never go back to experiment to find out if I would have done way better otherwise, but... Yeah! I am... Oh, look, an item. All right. Well, it's a good thing I turned that corner. Hey, it's a good thing I'm back then. We're finding evidence of things. So there must be an illusionary wall around here. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is a different one, huh? Or is this one also one? Oh, yeah, it is. But that's not the item, so... Oh, there's the item. It's, <laughs> it's on another ledge down there. All right, um... Where's the chain? Chain is... Chain's backwards, so it should be safe. Ooh, three large Titanite shards. Do I have enough for my upgrade? One more and I can upgrade my rapier, which would be which would be gratifying. Isolith staff. Hey. It's a good thing we came back then. Ancient catalyst of the Witch of Isolith and her daughters. Used long before the dawn of chaos and of pyromancy. And uh, with the birth of the chaos flame, the flame witches were one, uh, once both... Oh, shit. All right, my bad. I didn't think they could hit me from up there. <laughs> um, as I was saying, gonna go off to that item now. Dick. <laughs> Ancient catalyst, catalyst of the Witch of Isleth and her daughters used long before the dawn of chaos and pyromancy. With the birth of the chaos flame, the flame witches were at once bo uh, both sorcerers and shamans. Faith adjusted the power of sorceries and cast using this catalyst, and the staff also seems to boost the power of dark sorceries. Skill is steady chance, boosts the strength of sorceries for a very short period, works while equipped in either hand. So it actually has good faith scaling, which is a big twist there. Alright, let's go ruin some douchey basilisk, basilisk's lives. Hey friend. You know what you did. <laughs> oh sweet revenge. Okay. Oh, shit. There's another one. None of that. You cut that out. It is still super counterintuitive that when they're getting ready to blow their stuff all over you, if you just poke them with a stabby bit, it'll stop. It's like, no, that's that would just release it everywhere, right? I figured I'd show this part because I mostly ran through this area. Mostly because when you fall in that... Uh, most of it was because when you fall in that hole, you just get ambushed by tons of rats. And at some point, it's just like, I I can't deal with this right now. I could I could deal with it more with this weapon. But uh, with that spear, with how slow it was... ah, With how slow that spear was, it was just not, it was not a good situation to be in to be ambushed. Because you, you could hit like one or two targets at a time. And do, do minimal damage? And it didn't work out. Alright, let's deal with Kingslayer Dude with a Fumanite Ultra Great Sword. I believe he would he wasn't an invader last time, he was just actually here. Yep, there he is. Revenge! Uh-oh. This works way better when my attacks hit. Oh crap. Look at Mr. Poise over here. Alright. Huh. Okay, his poise is inconsistent, perhaps. Oh! Who's the douchiest of them all? How am I not hitting him? Holy crap. Gotta get used to not using a spear anymore, huh? Oh! Back dodge didn't work out. Ow. Yeah, always a little tough fighting someone who doesn't get stunned. Oh shit! Well. That was a clever little trick. He does like a shoulder bash that interrupts your sequence and he two shots you, so that's a problem. 
All right, let's give this another go, huh? This guy makes a mess of me. I think we're so he's beaten me twice so far, and I've beaten him once. I think. I say based on the fact that I think it was we had we had a one-one matchup in uh, the first area. Hey, friend. It was a big old mess. Nope. What's that movie does? Got like a shoulder bash of annoyingness. <laughs> Ow! Shit! Yeah. Hard to do a. There's certain things that are hard to do when you're fighting a guy with an ultra great sword who doesn't get interrupted by your attacks. All right. All right. And he perf and he, tr he tracks you just fine because he's based on a player. <laughs> oh. All right. No! Hoo-hoo! Really have to poke away at this guy, huh? Eh, there's damage. Aha! Take that, AI. Oh, don't fall in the fire. <laughs> no! <laughs> there we go. That was counterattack damage right there, 144. I think it was. Maybe not. Maybe it's just he wasn't blocking for once is why it surprised me. Oh! Oh no. No! Quickly heal. The Fume Knight sword is freaking scary. Its range and its power. I mean, I used it for a whole playthrough. I'm basically- this is basically two of my playthroughs fighting each other right now, which is a little weird to think about. Because <laughs> in Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, I did a Rapier playthrough first, and then I did a... A Fume Knight. I did a Fume Knight Ultra Great Sword great playthrough in New Game Plus on the same character. So this is the two builds fighting each other, which is weird to think about. <laughs> I got my block off in time. Wow. Oh! I thought that was going to end it. There we go. Whew! Got him. And there's the Fume Ultra Great Sword, which is a tank of a goddamn weapon. The twisted, this twisted sword, the heaviest of all ultra great swords, resembles black slate. Slate? Sure. Uh, th wait, no, I was thinking of shale. Never mind. Never mind. Geology mix up in my head. One hundred fifteen percent. Wow. This weapon, said to belong to a trader for, uh, from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. Its skill is stomp. Use one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and incre an increased poise. Follow the crushing strong attack. So that's what he was doing, huh? He was doing a little stomp, what I was calling a shoulder bash. Look at this thing, it's fucking huge! It's really, it's actually pretty fun to use. I did a whole playthrough of, uh, with this weapon. I can't really use it at all right now, but it's, it's cool. That's the stomp. Oh yeah, that's definitely what he was doing, and it was kind of hitting me. Uh, goodbye stamina meter. <laughs> yeah, cannot use that weapon on this character. It's, it's adorable to try, though. I'm actually kind of looking forward to trying uh, old, uh, large weapons again, because there's a new setting here called Manual Attack Aiming. Allows for the manual control of aiming with large weapons when locked on. You can turn it off. And I love that. Because the thing about this game is, if you're using the movement stick to move around, uh, for example, to strafe and to backstep and whatever, while you're locked on to somebody, if you hit right, for example, while you're locked onto someone that's over there, your giant ultra great sword would go attack over there. Oh god, don't do that. Don't go in the lava. It's like you'd be like, I'm gonna get him. You're like, I'm gonna get this guy, I'm gonna get this guy. I'm like, no, don't oh, oh no. So I'd attack the wrong direction on accident and I would die. Because as far as I know, I could be wrong and embarrassing myself right now, but I don't think you could turn it off in the previous game, Dark Souls 2. And that was a bummer. So now you can turn it off, which is very much welcome. It means that I can avoid that thing, and people who are smarter than me, who use that to their advantage, can use it, can still use it. It's the perfect compromise, just add a menu option. <laughs> anyway, that's the last let loose end that I was planning on covering here. Uh, at some point, I'm sure I'll find the ring that lets you walk on lava, and then I'll get the uh, various items hanging out on the floor, because uh, I cannot survive going to those right now. I will definitely have to... I don't think I don't I don't think even a flash sweat would really save you from the amount of damage there. If it's like the first Dark Souls game, Eyeslith requires a lava ring. 
which I may have missed already or may have not gotten to the area of yet. We'll find out.